number seven uh, sine theta equal two over three and theta equal to two over three theta is obstetrics it means it is in the second quadrant in second quadrant uh, cos uh, negative and tan negative if theta is acute sin theta mean uh, 2 over 3 so this is going to be 3 square 2 square square root so this is square root 5 if theta is acute I'm going to short form so, uh, then cos theta mean uh, so this value is square root 5 I just said no hypotenuse square root 5 over 3 tan mean uh, 2 over square root 5 or you can work with uh, cos theta equal square root 1 minus sine square theta from the identity 1 minus 2 over 3 square which is uh, plus or minus uh, square root 5 over 3 so now we have two answers plus and uh, positive and negative but theta is obtuse means it has to be minus square root 5 over 3 number 8 tan is tan theta equal to square root minus square root 3 so which which quadrant is tan negative this is all positive so this is tan negative this is tan positive this is tan negative so either obstetrics or it's here so we have two options but uh, in the sum it says that uh, theta is reflex so it's going to be uh, this one it's not obstetrics so sine theta in fourth quadrant negative cos theta is fourth quadrant positive so if if theta is acute So this is uh, square root 3 over 1, this is square root 3, this is 1, then this is square root 3 square plus 1 square square root, this mean this is going to be 2, square root 3 square 3 and plus 1, this is going to be 2. Now so what is sine theta? Sine theta equal square root 3 over Two. what is cos theta cos theta is 1 over 2 question number 9 cos theta equal cos theta equal 3 over 4 theta is reflex and cos is positive here so then which and quadrant cos positive this is and this one so then either it has to be acute angle or reflex on uh, which is in this quadrant so some is saying that it is theta is reflex it means we don't need this one it is this one in this quadrant sine ratio is negative tan theta also negative now assume if uh, if theta is acute so we will get this one 3 and 4 uh, this side is 4 square minus 3 square square root 16 minus 9 uh, which is 7 square root 7 
uh, this is square root 7 so sine theta mean now 3 over 4 cos theta value tan theta value is 3 over square root 7 I think I made a mistake in this sum cos 3 is here 3 should be here and then square root 7 is this one uh, sine theta sine theta mean square root 7 over 4 and tan theta mean square root 7 over 3 minus minus 10 c 10 elimination uh, x equal sin th theta y equal cos theta so we have to eliminate sin theta and make a one expression so only one equation we have sin square theta plus cos square theta equal one why i take theta because this is theta so then sin square theta mean x square and cos square theta mean y square equal 1. So we have to square this one. So x square equal sine square theta. Y square equal cos square theta. So then you can substitute. X equal sine theta. X square equal sine square theta. I square it. So what is this one? Y equal to so y square equal 4 cos square theta. So so in here cos square theta equal y square divided by 4 i bring the 4 down or divide both side by 4 now from identity sin square theta plus cos square theta equal 1 sin square theta mean x square cos square theta mean y square over 4 equal 1 if you want you can simplify a little bit multiply everything by 4 so 4 times x, 4x square, 4 times y square, you cancel out y square, and 4 times 1 is 4. x equals sine theta, so I will square this one, so x square equals sine square theta. So we don't need to square this one, we have the square, y equals cos square theta, I wrote as it is. So from my identity sine square theta plus cos square theta equal 1. Now sine square mean x square. Cos square mean not y square, it is y. D. To write this one we need uh, sine square theta cos square theta equal 1. I can make sine square theta, so x square equals sine square theta, so this is x square. Now there is no cos, so I can write y equal sine theta over cos theta. But I know sine theta is what? x, so y equal x over cos theta. Now cross multiply, cos theta equal x over y. Now cos square theta equal uh, xy square which is x square over y square now I can submit x square over y square equal 1 you can multiply all the equation by y square to get rid of denominator then this is y square x square this is cancel out and this is become y square now sine square theta plus cos square theta equal 1. I need a sine theta separately and cos theta separately. So I can see this is 1 and 2. If I add those two, this will cancel out. So 1 plus 2 make x plus y equal. This is cancel out 2 cos theta. So then xy plus y divided by 2 equal cos theta. Then cos square theta mean x plus y square over 2 square mean 4 
Now this part done. X plus Y square over 4 equal 1. Now sign I want to find. When I minus 1 minus 2, X minus Y equal or cancel out. Right. I will sign theta plus cos theta minus cos theta minus sine theta. So sine theta plus cos theta minus cos theta plus sine theta. So this so this is cancel out and this will make two sine theta. So So x minus y, x minus y equal to sine theta. Then x y minus y divided by 2 is sine theta. Then I square this one, x minus y square over 4 equal sine square theta. Then I'll substitute here, x minus y square over 4. Now I multiply by 4, x minus y square plus x plus y square equal 4. I can simplify further. x square minus 2xy plus y square and x square plus uh, 2xy plus y square equal 4. So this one cancel out. And x square and x square 2x square plus 2y square equal 4. I can divide by 2 x square plus y square equal to it is a circle question number 11 we want to show that cos b equal 9 over 16 when you look at this one uh, this is the angle we need to find yeah we know all the sides so then we can use cos rule uh, from cos rule Cos B equal um, DC square plus BA square minus uh, AC square over 2 times uh, BC BE. So BC square mean 8 square plus 12 square over 10 square over. 2 times 8 times 12. So this value is definitely it should be 9 over 16. Now cos B is 9 over 16. Now this value is positive. So which quadrant cos C is positive? First and the fourth. So either it can be acute or it in the fourth quadrant. But when you look at this one, um, 12 is the largest uh, uh, length. Hence, this angle should be the largest. Then this has to be uh, acute. Hence, uh, sine B should be positive because now B is acute. B is acute. Hence, in the first quadrant, sign all positive and sign positive. So, we will find simply now, B, this is 9, this is 16. So, what is the, from Pythagoras, we can find this one, 16 is square, 9 is square, which is square root 175, it means, uh, 25 times 7, it means 5 to square root 7. So, this length is 5 square root 7, opposite. Hence, sine b equal 5 square root 7 divided by hypotenuse 16. Uh, number 12, we want to show that uh, sine q equal 2 over 3. So when I look at I can see 2 side and 1 angle. So then uh, I want this one. And front of that length also I know then 
द साइन रोल साइन क्यू ओवर एट इक्वल साइन थर्टी ओवर सिक्स और साइन क्यू इक्वल एट साइन थर्टी ओवर सिक्स व्हिच इज एट साइन थर्टी इज हाफ टाइम सिक्स और दिस इज गोइंग टू बी फोर ओवर सिक्स फोर ओवर सिक्स मीन डिवाइड बाय टू टू ओवर थ्री साइन क्यू इज टू ओवर थ्री नाउ साइन वैल्यू इज पॉजिटिव तो हियर ऑल पॉजिटिव साइन पॉजिटिव एंड कोस साइन पॉजिटिव सो फर्स्ट क्वार्टर आल्सो साइन पॉजिटिव सेकंड आल्सो आल्सो साइन पॉजिटिव सो देन देयर शुड बी आइदर इट इज एक्यूट और आइदर इट इज ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन नाउ इन द सम से given that q is obtuse it mean it can't be acute so it is obtuse so we want to find now uh, cos q so in second quadrant uh, cos is negative if theta is acute so this is theta Uh, opposite divided by hypotenuse. So this is going to be three square minus two square square root nine minus four square root five. So then cos mean square root five over 